Today's video is gonna be weird. I'm gonna bribe a Walmart employee. <laughs> Luke did something I need to show you and I need to clear the air a little bit. We're gonna get to that in just a minute, but first of all, the Pro Charger is for sale. Again, I know you guys were so bummed that I pulled the Pro Charger off of the Corvette. I'm a little bit bummed too. If you end up wanting to run this on your car, hit me up on Instagram, there's a link below. Also, we got the meats. If you guys remember, I actually flat spotted my tires when I took the RX-7 out to the track. <laughs> I was hauling nuts into turn one. I, it was literally my first track day ever. I was starting to get more and more confident, and so I sent it into turn one, locked up the front brakes because I completely forgot that the ABS is disabled on this car. Fortunately, I wasn't alone. My homie, Michael, he has a 991 Cup car that happened to also have an ABS malfunction. Anyway, you can see the massive flat spot on these tires. Fortunately, it was just on a set of these throwaways, but the homies at Toyo Tires came in clutch, boy, with the R Triple R's. These are some proper sticky boys. The sticky stuff. Anyway, uh, we gotta fit these in here. I have no idea how we're gonna do that because now we have the fixed Recaro pole positions. These do not move whatsoever. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is not gonna shut. And this is why I'm the world's worst RX-7 owner. I, I can't even shut this door. This, my friends, is a prime example of absolutely poor planning Fantastic execution. We're just gonna send it. <laughs> Something I definitely didn't think through. I can't get into first gear. <laughs> what do you think the odds are we can drive this whole way uh, in third, fourth, and fifth gear? R.I.P. my clutch, dude. I may, I may have spoke too soon. This is uh, this is a problem. That's third, that's third gear. <laughs> okay, this was, oh wait, it's working. Oh, it doesn't sound good though. <laughs> okay, poor planning, poor execution. Also, if that wasn't bad enough, don't judge me for my uh, tire shop choice. We're going to Walmart. Walmart? Now you see the goal here is just to not stop. We can't, we can't slow down. <laughs> this is literally my worst nightmare. We're at a stoplight, oh gosh. And we got traffic behind us, come on. Oh, we got it! Let's go! I'm just praying that the tires don't fall out. <laughs> this is working swimmingly. But that's just, I'm so sorry, I can't stop. Stop, sorry. I can't stop, I can't see. We're, we're gonna cause an accident. Now they said it'd be about a three hour wait. I don't pride myself on this. Okay, I got some cash, okay, don't judge me. I'm gonna slip in the key with like, 60 bucks and see if that three hour wait goes down a little bit. <laughs> like for some reason my heart is like <laughs> beating out of my chest. This is so stupid. Is this is this unethical? Biggest thing is it's it's confidence. You gotta have you gotta have confidence when you roll. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my nerves to like chill out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Anyway, in the meantime, a very special shout out to today's video sponsor, Rocket Money. And fun fact, I've actually used Rocket Money for a long time. My wife and I actually started using it over two years ago. We've genuinely been using this for the past two years to keep track of subscriptions. You know how subscriptions will either go up in price or sometimes you have like double subscriptions on things. We actually found out we had two Amazon Prime accounts, we had two Spotify accounts, and my daughter has an iPad which she downloads games. And she had multiple subscriptions for like the same game over and over again. But we quickly found out that Rocket Money is so much more than that. It's an all-in-one personal finance app that helps you spend less and save more. Now you can see down here, it says data scrambled for privacy purposes. This isn't my actual che checking account. I can't show you guys that, but this is a real demo of what the Rocket Money app is like. It tracks your budget over time, shows you your balances, checking, car balances, savings, and investments all in one place, as well as keeps track of all of your reoccurring expenses. I kind of let my wife run with our household budget. She loves Rocket Money. She loves that she can set up individual budgets, specifically maybe like budgets for car things. And what's dope is as you get close to those spending limits, Rocket Money is gonna give you a friendly notification letting you know that you're approaching that limit or when you've exceeded it. Rocket Money is genuinely such a dope product. It's something that my wife and I, again, have used for the past two years, which is why I was so stoked when Rocket Money reached out and wanted to sponsor today's video. So click the first link in the description down below, download Rocket Money at rocketmoney.com forward slash Stephen Lewis. You know the drill, knowledge is power when you know more about your finances, you can take control of them and make real time adjustments to your budgets. Make a shout out to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys in there. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> like, I do something bad. It's not that bad, right? Got the key for you. You said it was gonna be like three hours, like that. Okay. Do that. Just let me know if you can get me a little bit sooner, so I can't take it. You sure? Yeah. They. Yeah. They. 
they pay us a little more so that it comp compensates it for it, but I appreciate okay. it though. All right, okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. I'll take care of it for you. Okay, All right. cool, thanks man. No problem. Bro, props. Props to the Walmart gang, dude. That is so, like he could have just taken that tip, even though he's not allowed to. Cause like, I didn't, I don't know if they could take tips or not. Like, if they can, sick. I'll give him a tip and like maybe you squeeze it in a little bit sooner. If not, like the homie was honest, dude. Honesty isn't dead, bro. Let's go, dude. Shout out to the Walmart Tire Center. Bro, I am so impressed. These guys are actually being super careful. Bro, you guys are dope. Thank you for being so careful with it. <laughs> yeah, no How's it going? You guys are awesome. There's just something so sick about driving, <laughs> driving a wheel here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I see you. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kyle. I I tried your thing. I don't have the same kind of steez that you have. I wa they I walked up to Walmart, right? I got the I got the tires installed at Walmart. They they said they said it's gonna be three hours, and I said, hey, let me know if you can fit me in any sooner. He rejected me. Yeah, he said I don't take tips. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Kyle's the guy. Anytime we go anywhere, he slips the guy a hundred bucks. Maybe it's because it's sixty. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. And the lineup today is absolutely legendary. We got Kyle in the NSX Type S with the Advan GTs. Gabe in the 911 GT3 RS with quite possibly my favorite wheels of all time. The polished Advan GTs, dude, what? Of course, Brayden in the classic Gallardo with the sick livery. And Luke, you did something. I did something. You did a thing, <laughs> dude. Thank you, uh, Bank. And here it is, the first exclusive look, the reveal. No, Steven! Dude, this thing's sick. I never would have guessed you would have bought this. Yeah. Ever in a million years, dude. How do you feel about it? Like deep down, uh, when you think about it. I'm kind of scared of it, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. It's like, it's so sick the way it is, and I gotta do stuff to it for content reasons, but it's like so perfect the way it is, but I also, I don't know, dude. I don't know, did I make the right decision? I think you made the right decision. This is like, it's so fitting for you, but at the same time, it's like so different. It's freaking gangster. Okay, I think at the very least we need a we need a cold start. A cold start. A cold start for everybody. <laughs> You're never gonna guess what it is. <laughs> Luke is a madman. Okay. Uh, okay, so you guys are, I'm sure, well aware of what's been going on with James and Luke. I, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I keep getting comments about it. And if I'm being honest, I kind of feel like it's affecting my viewership at least a little bit. So I'm gonna address a couple things. Unfortunately, I've kind of become collateral damage in this whole situation, and I, I just wanted to clear the air. There's genuinely nothing that happened between me and James, there's nothing that happened between Luke and I. Whatever happened between Luke and James, it is what it is, and I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. Also, a little bit of like clarification. Uh, people keep be asking why like I don't shoot for James anymore, and like Luke and I are different people. Maybe brothers, maybe brothers. We might be twin brothers, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people think seem to think that we're the same person, and that I worked for James at some point, which is not the case. James and I spent a lot of time together, and I'm super grateful for all the help that he gave me starting my YouTube channel. We didn't have a big blowout. Life seems to just kind of have taken us down different paths. Now, Luke and I have been best friends literally almost our entire lives. That hasn't changed. It's not going to change. Luke is a really good dude, and I'm super grateful that we've been able to like lean on each other over the years and like support each other in our careers, our videos, and just kind of in life in general. And anytime I need to shoot a video or just want somebody to like hang out with, Luke has always been there. And likewise, anytime Luke wants to shoot a video and he needs an extra person or somebody to hang out with, I'm always there for him. Which I think is super rare to find in friendships these days. We, we've just we've just got each other's backs. So in summary, do James and I have any issues with each other? Absolutely not. Do Luke and I have any issues with each other? Absolutely not. So if you're watching my videos, it's not like you have to 
choose sides. It's, it's, it, like, it literally doesn't matter. I'm just trying to hang out with my friends and make fun videos. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay, today's video has been uh, productive. We're making we're making some progress. We're clearing the air. Uh, I made my first bribe, which went absolutely horribly. But you know the drill. If you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell. And on that note, see you guys in the next video.